So this is a screencast about PG DevBox, which is a really fast way to get going with the Postgres SQL server. Uh, Postgres SQL is a real database, it scales and all those sorts of things that you need databases to do, uh, but it can be a bit of a pain to install, so this is a really, really quick way to do that. Let's make a directory in which to do the test and change into it all. And so we're going to use curl to download a file from pgdevbox.com and it's a vagrant file. I'm just going to save it like that now. I'm using curl but you could use uh, your web browser to download from this URL. So now we're just going to do vagrant up now. If you don't have the box file downloaded. The box file is rather large, it's 300 megabytes big and so if you don't have that this bit can take quite a long while. Um, it's 10 or 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe on a broadband connection uh, but hey there you go. Once you've got it you can make as many copies as you like quite quickly, this quickly um, and booting each instance is very fast just like this. So this is making a brand new server on my machine with Postgres SQL running inside it. Uh, so I have Postgres running here and I can just um, connect into the virtual machine in order to run the Postgres SQL client tools. So that's psql and uh, backup and all those sorts of things. So let's just do that to show you what's inside the database. So let's list the tables. There's one table by default. Uh, and let's list that table. That's got one column on it called A, which is of type JSON. So let's try and query from that table. There's nothing in it, so let's insert something. Let's insert some JSON data. is how you insert JSON data with Postgres. Let's insert some more, some just some different values. Now we'll select from A and we can see all those different values. We can also do a, a selective query There we go. Um, oh, here's a different one where B is 20 and we've got two rows. We don't have to constrain ourselves to that table. We can make another table. Um, let's say there's an integer ID and a date and um, maybe some data which is of type text. and. Um, we can then query that table and of course you can make as many tables as you like. Um, we could also run backup inside the VM and then pull the part file from inside the VM and store it anywhere on Amazon or anything. Um, and, uh, we can connect to this database from my machine um, using complicated network setups. You could put it anywhere. You could also host this vagrant um, image on a big fat server on Amazon or something else. So um, it really is a very fast, simple, quick way to get going. We're just going to slash crit out of there. And thank you very much.